America's Federal Bureau of Investigation has said it has discontinued a lecture that taught counterterrorism agents that mainstream Muslims were violent. Now, this move comes after leaked documents revealed controversial elements in the FBI's training manuals. According to those documents, mainstream American Muslims are likely to be terrorist sympathizers. They also say that the Prophet Muhammad was a cult leader. And the Islamic practice of giving charity is no more than a funding mechanism for combat. One presentation also states that the more devout a Muslim is, the more likely he is to be violent, and that Muslims are far more violent than Christians or Jews. Well, Spencer Ackerman is the journalist who broke this story for the website war.com, and my colleague Anna Naidu spoke with him earlier and asked him what these documents tell us about the FBI's training program. There's clearly a real rot that exists and has been chronic inside the FBI for these reasons. This isn't the first time uh, we've uncovered documents back in July that showed as recently as January 2009, before these most recent ones that we published yesterday, uh, showing a great deal of what you might call anti-Islam documentation. So there's still a real sense of uh, ignorance and to some degree I think uh, fear uh, of, of Islam that has found uh, a surprising home within the FBI. Now, you know, what you've just been telling us, some of it is so far off the curve here, if implemented, wouldn't it be violating perhaps the civil rights, civil liberties of people in the United States? If they spend their time and their, and their resources going after indicators of violent behavior that they're taught are simply no different than the amount of religiosity a person displays, then first of all, they're not going to you know, get actual terrorists. They're going to be targeting innocent people. And second of all, they're going to be targeting people on the basis of their religion. And that's a very constitutionally dicey proposition. It does have a play into the hands of bodies like Al-Qaeda. Well, uh, I'm sorry to say that on uh, message boards uh, that uh, Al-Qaeda sympathizers use, uh, there was quite a great degree of discussion of the story that we published yesterday at Wired.com saying that uh, essentially this, this proves that it's impossible to be a good American and a good Muslim. And that's exactly the line that Al-Qaeda wants out there. And it's essentially the line that this instructor at the FBI uh, quite literally taught to agents uh, who are charged with counterterrorism. Uh, Spencer, what do we know about the people who are teaching these things at the FBI? One of them is an FBI official named William Gothrop. Uh, he's an interesting figure. Uh, he used to be part of a Defense Department entity known as the Counterintelligence Field Activity. And that organization got into a lot of trouble uh, back in the mid-2000s when it used its mandate to safeguard domestic military bases uh, to keep a database on anti-war protesters, church groups, and other nonviolent dissenters in the United States. Somehow he ended up at the FBI, and he's spoken uh, in interviews in the past hitting on these similar themes. And in an interview he gave to a conspiracy theorist website called WorldNet Daily in 2006, he discussed his master plan for winning the war on terror, which was to shake Muslims away from their faith that if they could institute somehow, the United States that is, a catastrophic event in Islam that would cause people to no longer be Muslims, then the war on terrorism is won.